Question 2 on the M1 Mechanics paper from June 2009. So, if we have a look at this, we're told that the particle is acted on by two forces, and we're given the two forces in uh, IJ notation. Now, I'll convert these because I prefer column notation. Column notation is much easier. So, let's convert this to 1 minus 3 in column, and let's convert this one to P. 2p in columns. Now I'll first bit find the angle between F2 and the J uh, vector, the unit vector in the direction of J, i.e. vertically upwards. Well this is a classic part of an exam question. So well, if you just draw a little diagram, if I started here, this is positive and this is twice as big positive. So if I went to the right P and I went up 1, 2, 3, 4, 2p, I really would be looking, oops, let's draw that one again, in fact, let's get a straight line, I'm really looking at the vector f2 to be like that. So this is f2, and then let's find out this angle here, but we want to find out the distance, that angle in there. Okay, so, well, we know from this triangle, the right angle triangle, we know that the tan of theta is equal to 2p over p. We know that, um, from that, we know that tan theta must be 2, and therefore theta must be tan minus 1 of that tells us we can use our calculator to work out what theta is. So theta must be 63.4349488.2 degrees, or to three significant figures, 63.4 degrees. However, checking back at our diagram, we know that J goes vertical, and we want to find the distance between um, the, this here we need to find this angle here between f2 and vertical so we need to do 90 minus theta is the angle that we really want which is going to work out as if we run that 26.6 degrees three significant figures okay um part b we're told that the there's a resultant of the two vectors so we know that f1 plus F2 is equal to the resultant vector R. And if we say this resultant vector is parallel to the eye, so it means it has a horizontal component, but no vertical component, because it's going perfectly horizontal. So I can write out, really, what I can write out with that. I can write the force F1, which is 1 minus 3, added to uh, P 2P, is equal to x0, which is our resultant. So f1 plus f2 must be the same as the resultant combined one. Now, if we look at the j components, obviously, we want to work out the value of p. So if we just consider the j components of this, just reading along the bottom, this is why I use column vectors, we have minus 3 plus 2p is equal to 0. So rearranging that, we can find out that p is 1.5, which is our value. Now, this is where our question stops. We could be asked to go back and work out what F2 was, which means it would be 1.5 uh, and then the vector 3, but we don't need to do that. It was just asking us for the value of P, so we're going to stop. Question finished.